is for tape. Ah, hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. We're doing something special today. We are celebrating the Chinese New Year, which is a little bit early. It will actually come February 12th, which is a Friday. But first I wanted to tell you, I'm Corey and you're watching Casual Girl Adventures and this is my buddy Chad, as always. So today's um, very special celebration, oh, by the way, it's the year of the ox. So this is our Wednesday, Wednesday Hump Day Food Day. Day. Woo! All right. So this is what we're doing for our Wednesday Hump Day Food Day. Um, as I said, it's the year of the ox, February 12th is the start of it. The Chinese New Year um, is celebrated like something like 15, 16 days. Kind of depends on I guess where you're at. Um, here in, in California they have a nice um, festival going on. It's, it's going ar already and everything like that. We usually like to go out there but with this silliness going on we can't go out this year. So we're celebrating it here. What we have are these different types of um, Asian snacks. I hope you guys can see that. Anyway, we'll show you. We're gonna we're gonna try each one. Pretty much, kind of been celebrating like this with these and green tea. It's usually hot. Yeah, this is still warm. Um, and just have it. These are very sweet. So you want to have the green tea afterwards to drink. And that's how just we do it around here as our family tradition to celebrate that. We also have red envelopes. This is this is from the year of the snake. So it's not the right type of envelope. Obviously got too many, you didn't pass them out, but normally you put like money or something in them. Like Chap's mom um, did this for me a long time ago. Um, she put them in there. It's lucky money. You don't spend it. You give it to kids or other younger adults than you. Um, but that's kind of certain things we do. We still have to do that around here. But anyway, enough of that jibber jabber. Let's try some of these snacks. And um, we're also going to be having behind us on the green screen um, yeah. after the, the Wednesday shout out, we're going to be having like the little zodiac signs, the animals, the 12 animals that are they're going to be behind us kind of giving a brief years of what they are and everything. So in the comments below, tell me what year you guys are for the Chinese zodiac. Now remember, the Chinese New Year doesn't really start until about February. Um, it kind of varies each year, it depends on when the new moon is. So, you, if, if you were born in January like I were, like I, like I was, okay, uh. English. If you were born in January like I was, um, and it didn't come to the new year yet, like for me, for an example, January 18th is my birthday, but in American, 77 is my year. But for the Chinese, since it wasn't the new year yet, I'm actually 76, so I'm the year of the dragon. Chad is the year of the rooster. Chap is the year of what is that? Horse. The year of the horse. And Kira is the year of the tiger. So that's our family zodiacs. Tell me in the comments below of yours. But let's get on and try these. I know you guys are excited to see what these are about. So this was about 20 bucks in the Asian market. And they're just a couple of varieties. Let me put this down somewhere. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> so it's just a couple different varieties of types of things. We're going to do the same thing right here. We will try, let's get with the color. This white and pink, some yellow in there. Chap snuck a few this morning. Um, this is a coconut, a little coconut strip. All of these foods that we're eating here have very good health benefits. Um, they all have so many different stuff, I couldn't rem rem memorize it all, but they all have good health benefits. There's a reason why they're eating this, and we'll kind of get into that later on, but we're going to have a coconut. See that? You've got long arms. Oh. Okay, cheers. Let's try this one. This is a coconut. Yeah, it's dried coconut strips. That's what it is, um, covered in like a light flour and sugar. I think I, I taste like sugar. Um, and then just it was actual coconut, just cut up in little strips. Has a like a slight little crunch, like on the outside, to me. 
and a, a soft, not not really chewy. Right. It's like it's crumb, like a soft, soft. crumbly. Yeah, kind of like crumbly. It's coconut. You know how coconut's all crumbly. It's kind of like that. Just dried. Hi Daisy. Well, hey baby girl. So you eat that, and you enjoy that. You wait, young man. <laughs> And then you have like a little bit of tea, and then you can move on to another one. And we'll just kind of move around a couple little, of, try to describe what what we got here. But definitely has the coconut. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's coconut. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Cheers. Mm -hmm. A little sip here. Green tea, which is also very good for you, has so many good benefits that uh, I don't know. It's good for the digestive system. Mm -hmm. This right here, let's try this one next. Mm -hmm. This one right here, yeah, is a, I think it's a water chestnut. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself, but it's a water chestnut. Cheers. It also has the same as the coconut. <laughs> Not yet. Come on. Kind of like, I don't know if it's flour and sugar or if it's just really fine sugar, but it's, they're sweet. All this stuff is going to be really sweet. That's why we have the green tea. The hot green tea. <clears throat> All right, ready? Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Not as sweet as the coconut. The coconut is is sweeter. So, with that, I'm not really big anymore on super sweet things. I used to be when I was your age back in the day. <laughs> back in the good old days. Back in the good old days. Yes. I used to be really, really, really big on sweets, but yeah, I have a pretty bad sweet tooth. But I like this one. It's um, it's kind of this a little similar, same thing. Um, a small little crunch on the outside, but very soft and kind of sticky on the inside a little bit. A little bit more chewy than the coconut piece. So that's that. Really good. You got the sweetness from the. Like powdered sugar. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Powdered sugar on the outside. Mm. Thank you. All right. Well, that's that one. That one's yummy. Then we have to do a juice. No. <laughs> All right. A little bit more for you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Careful, it might be hotter now. Okay, this one, we're gonna try this one. I want you to be careful. Let me try it first, because I don't know if it's too chewy for your braces. Mm. But this one, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what this is. It looks like something you, you suck on, but it's also squishy. It's kind of squishy, wrapped up in the paper. Squishy. So it probably is squishy and sticky, but don't open it. Let me try this one first and see. That way, if you don't eat it, if it's too sticky for your braces, you can put it back. Okay. Dang braces. I know, huh? Okay. So it had just a little knot in it, tied around a piece of paper. Okay. Oh, it's sticky. I can see it already, guys. Look, I'll oh, show you this one look closer. Because... Daisy! It's a little sticky. But anyway, that's that one. I don't know what this kind is, because this is kind of new, and this stuff we get... Normally we've seen all this before, and there was other type of peanut candy here, but they're they're here now, in this one. But anyway... Mm. Um, I taste like a little orange flavoring. It's really good. I like this one a lot, too. Well, Definitely not what I thought it was. Definitely different, huh? <laughs> I taste like a, like some kind of orange candy coating on the outside. It kind of reminds me of orange chicken. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's. I kind of kind of see it a little bit. This have from the orange chicken flavor. The the sauce that's on the orange chicken kind of does taste very similar to that. Without the chicken. <laughs> yeah, very savory. Mm. Well, that's a fancy word. I like it. No, it, uh, that one is. It was very savory, light, and airy. I really like that one. 
Like an orange. Orange chicken. Orange chicken sauce. Something in there. That one was really good. I like that one. Yeah, really candy. No. Okay, this next one right here is like some kind of melon. It's also coated like the rest, like a couple of these other ones that we've had, um, with the powdered sugar. That's what I believe it, it is, powdered sugar. I'm pretty sure I've, ha I've had all these before. Yeah. Except for that one. Yeah. And maybe that one. No. Um, I, I remember that one. These, you can get these all individual. But this is like specially set up for the Chinese New Year. Um, excuse me, I apologize. They all have their different benefits. To bring in like good luck and and good fortunes and stuff like that. That's also with the the red envelope money. Um, people give it. That's why you don't spend it. It's it's a gift. You're supposed to bring good fortunes with that. But here's this one. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah. See, this is one of my favorite. Like a melon. Juicy. Mm hmm. Kind of juicy and soft in the middle and crunchy on the outside. Just like. Just like this one, but this one has more, this one is a lot sweeter than this one. A lot sweeter than this one. Um, a little bit crunchier. This one is a little bit crunchier than this one. This is more, it'll melt in your mouth pretty much. Like, crunchy on the outside. Mm-hmm, exactly. And it melts in your mouth as soon as you start biting it. Man. That one is super sweet, but I still really like that one a lot, but that's where the green tea comes in, kind of washes down the flavor of the sweetness. <sighs> Yummy. This next one, you all know to be called ginger, Woo! sliced ginger. I don't know if you want that big of a piece. Probably not. Because, <laughs> you know, as you know, ginger is spicy. So I'm thinking that this is dried out ginger. Not thinking. I'm. I, well, this is dried out ginger, and you're probably thinking, "How crazy am I going to be to eat it?" Well, it's really good. It's slicely, sliced, <laughs> thinly sliced. Slightly thin. Mm -hmm. It's thinly sliced, so you can eat it. And it's not going to be as spicy like if you were to eat ginger raw. You know, it's like super spicy. It has like a really ting, nice ting to it. This one really doesn't because of the powdered sugar and stuff on it. Daisy? It's still spicy. Like ginger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's been dried out. It does have a ting to it still a little bit, but it's very, a very little. A sweet ting. A sweet ting, yep. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's very little. It still has a little hair. The little strings, yeah. No. And because it's dried out, it kind of has like a the slight little crunch to them, like like the other ones. Yeah, this one even had like a little crunch to it, but it was kind of hollow inside because I think they dug out seeds. You can see in it where it had like seeds and stuff in it. But yeah. So that's the ginger. Ginger is very good for your health and good for tummy aches if you have tummy aches. I probably wouldn't eat it if you have tummy ache with sh with the powdered sugar on it. <laughs> but if you can get some like ginger tea or something like that and you have an upset tummy, it will help soothe your tummy ache. Very, very well. It's very good for you. Ginger is a great one. What's the middle one? Got your hair. The middle one? Yeah. Nah, that's for last. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I will tell you, with the ginger candy, kind of the more you eat, the little bit spicier it gets as you keep going. And then it'll be like you just ate a full, solid piece. Yeah. Clear out your nasal system, too. <laughs> yeah. Now this one is another one. This has sesame seeds, some kind of caramel, and some of them also have little peanuts in them. So if you're allergic to nuts, probably wouldn't be a good one to eat over here. Like, this is a good one to show you. These are roasted sesame seeds and has some has some little tiny 
nuts, peanuts in them. And these are also like good fortune, um, good for your health, good, good health benefits. All this stuff is good health benefits. But you see that? Like little kind of, some kind of caramel stuff. Excuse me, Chad, I don't know if you can have this one. Daddy said that this one is really sticky, really, really, really sticky. So if you don't like sticky stuff, this might be one you might want to pass up. So I'm going to try this one. I don't think Chad can have this one with his braces. It's too sticky. So I'll try you. I'll try it and tell you. I'm trying. I'll try you. <laughs> I think we'll be right back, you guys. This is a little chewy. Daisy! It's really good. Three, two, one. Okay, you guys, that one is super chewy. Uh, I needed a minute to chew that one up. Um, but you can taste, it's like, it tastes like brown sugar, so you can see how sticky it is. It's really sticky and really chewy. Not sure how many of you are really gonna like that one, but you can taste the peanuts in there. They're roasted peanuts and roasted um, sesame seeds. It tastes really good, the whole combination together is really good. It's not as sweet as you would think it is, but it tastes like, um, not tastes like, but it's chewy like a, a, a taffy. And it's very, very stringy. So I think I'm just gonna kind of set it aside right now. It's really good. I'm gonna eat it later, but we need to move on here. No, it's too much. Your your braces. I know. Okay. All right. So we got this one. Ooh. Mm hmm. Looks like a. Oh. Wow. That's quite interesting. Looks like a carrot. Yeah. Looks like a carrot. It could be a couple things. A carrot. I think it's too orange to be a mango, or papaya, or it could also be. Like, look, oh, yeah. it could it be um, persimmon? No. Well, no, I think it's too big. Or or yam. Yum. Okay. Well, let's try it and tell them. It's Ooh. also sugar coated, powder sugar coated. Hmm. <laughs> kind of not much flavor going on there. I'm not sure I like that one too much. I don't like, not yucky, but kind of just tastes sugar. like sugar. Yeah. All right, that one's definitely not not a go one. It's I think you're gonna find 90% of these in there. This might be have something different in another one, and these might have something different in another one, and this one might. But I don't, I don't really like this one. This one was way too much sugar for me. I don't like this one. So I'm gonna put that one over there. But I'm still gonna eat that. Oh. Take a drink. No, I don't want to cheers you anymore. <laughs> anyway, all right. <clears throat> this one. Oh, yeah, this one. I know. This one. <laughs> This one, I really don't know 100% what it is either. It kind of looks like a dried pea, almost. A dried pea, but peas aren't this color. It's too big. Yeah. Peas would be smaller. It's some kind of dried fruit. All this is all dried fruit. Okay, ready? Go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That one. Gotta have more. Mmm. It kind of tasted a little roasted flavor, huh? Kind of creamy. A little bit. A little bit of sugar. That one's really hard to explain, too. But I like it. I like the flavor. This one just flavorless. This one just tastes like pure sugar. <laughs> this one does, you can taste um, the sugar in it also. Not sure what it's called. Like some. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I don't want to try to guess, make a fool of myself. Uh, yeah. Let me taste this one first. Kind of soft. You might be able to. Mm. <laughs> Stickiness. Ready? Try it. It's soft. <laughs> mm. Whoa. 
seed. That's the seed. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Careful. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. That is super, super chewy. No. Like. That's really good. Tastes a lot. Not not sugar, but like fruit. Like a natural fruit sweetness. It's super good, you guys. I like that one. Wow, that was really surprising. I was kind of cut off a little bit by the seed because I kind of bit into it a little bit, so it kind of hurt. But other than that... Do you think you eat the or is it too late? I don't know. Because, I don't know. We can try. <laughs> it's a big old tree, but it's really, really, really sticky. That's a tree. Yeah. It's really sticky. But it was really good. A nice subtle okay. sweetness. Two stickers. <laughs> I don't need a sticker. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck on it a little bit. Probably not as bad as this. No, that one. That one's kind of almost kind of hard, but not in the hard. Like I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It's not really like it's like it's super chewy. Yeah. This one kind of like you want to suck on it a little bit. Just kind of suck on it and just kind of let it melt a little bit in your mouth. And it's, it has a really nice flavor to it. I know, it's like durian. Isn't that the stinky fruit stuff? But it, but it's mixed with something. Oh. And yeah, it smells really good. But uh, anyway, you guys, it's going to be a little longer video, but that's okay. We wanted to show you all this and kind of celebrate our Chinese New Year um, celebration with us. I know it's going to come out Wednesday, so it's a little early, but that's okay. So anyway, we just wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for watching, and we hope you guys have a fantastic New Year, and um, happy Chinese New Year, and thank you so much, you know, this, uh, thank you for watching us and enjoying our Wednesday, Wednesday Hump, Hump Day Food, food day. day! Woo! Alright guys, Woo. yeah! Well, you guys enjoy, happy New Year, bye!